Hello everybody and happy Thursday. Hopefully everyone is doing well. And I am back. Oh, uh, wait. And I am back with mixed daily trading. Let's have fun and let's go. Oh, chess fanatic. Okay. <laughs> Guys, let me know if you can hear me. And I play against Axel1702. Good luck. Have fun. This always terrifies me. I guess all right, thanks. Um, but I'm not sure what what is fun for him. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, Karma. The sound is okay, right? Or, oh no. Is the sound fine? Or, or, or should I make it louder or lower? Or it's just fine. It's decent. Decent like it was decent last times, or is it like decent, eh, decent, or like a eh, decent good, or like what, uh, like what? Oh gosh, what is bishop f3? Bishop g4? I'm not sure about bishop f3. I mean, maybe it's good, but I don't know. No, there he after after queen h5 d6 take take c5 and this is the main line. But I've not seen bishop f3 at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can play knight e5 and, and target the c pawn. Maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll go knight e5. <coughs> Hello, panda. Take, take. After c5, take, take. Then b6, knight moves, knight d3. Put pressure on the bishop on the pawn. Something like this, I don't know. Maybe something else. But so far, I think it looks okay, to say the least. Yeah, this I was thinking take and then b6. Like knight d3, rook d8, all that stuff. Or maybe something else, I don't know. <coughs> I'll go rook d8 immediately, because now if bishop f4, I have knight d3 attacking the bishop and the pawn. And if bishop e3, I have knight c4 attacking the bishop and the pawn. And I don't know why did he play bishop g5, honestly. Okay, first of all, I can get the bishop. But then he'll have good pawn, so... I mean, this, this the pawn isn't hanging. Okay, I don't know, h6. F4, take, 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 I'm good. Yeah, but now knight d3, double attack. Okay, the bishop isn't really hanging, but then I'll double his pawns. But I, I, I don't really see how he will protect the pawn on b2. Okay, if knight d5, e6, and rook c8, f4. Okay, this, but now I can simply take... Uh, then take, take, bishop c3, rook c2, and I guess he is okay there. So perhaps I should go something like rook a c8 or something? Or maybe knight d4, bishop d4, I don't know, but okay, rook a c8, knight b2, rook d8, rook d8, take, take, rook d3. I oh, know I have knight d4, yes. Okay, let's go rook c8, rook d1, I'll go here, take, take, here, bishop c3, rook c2, rook d3 perhaps, 
projecting the bishop is now knight b4 ideas and if knight c1 i will go knight d4 okay i mean i'm not sure still gonna reconsider things a bit perhaps i shall just go here and then maybe if he goes a3 i can take and then maybe take again and then go knight d3 so this hangs and this hangs uh, but honestly, I like knight b4 because I have idea to take c3, also take b2, a2, and f4. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, honestly. Knight b2 was interesting, but I just don't know. I gotta keep in mind, okay, it goes here. Rook d3, take, 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 take. At least bishop of 6, bishop h4. Rook b2 is a way. This guy is um, playing sometimes quite strange. Quite strangely. Okay. Yeah, now a5, a4, perhaps? a5. How does he stop a4? And then his knight will be terrible if like rook d2 and stuff. If a4, f rook d3. I don't know, I'll go a5. Any else was up? I like a5. Because so, it, his rook cannot really move as well because b2 is going to hang. Or maybe even I can be patient and simply push a4 and then take b2 or something, you know? Um... But I haven't played this guy in a while, like one month or maybe two months, yeah. One month. Okay, anyways, a4. If knight c1, then he can resign after rook d1. These pieces are just dead. I can go like f6, f5, take any everything and win. So he has to go knight a1, then I go rook d2. Or, okay, then he has king f1 f6 skinny one but then i have rook d4 i can draw back attack the f4 pawn yeah okay a4 i think it's a good move okay should i play rook d2 or f6 perhaps i should just play f6 and activate my bishop but at the same time rook d2 is good because i kill the knight king f1 f6 Kini one, I simply draw back and then everything will fall. Yeah, I like rook d2. And if b3, I go a3. I like rook d2. Then I cannot move the rook, yeah, but now a3, so that a2 hangs. Okay. Okay, he wants to develop his knight. I can see that. Rook a2, knight b3, rook b2, rook b2, a b, knight d2. F6, E6, F5. No, but this should be winning. The knight is just stuck protecting the pawn. And then, like, all these pawns are on dark squares. So they will be an easy target for my bishop. And then maybe even for my king. Yeah, but bishop F6. And I'll create an outside passer, so he will need his king to protect this pawn, and this knight to protect this pawn. And he just resigns. Another name, Axel 1702, he's from Germany. I am really happy with this game. I think that was a really, pretty much perfect game. I'm extremely happy with it. But let's see what will Stockfish say about the game. Perhaps a nil nil nil, hopefully. Maybe not, or maybe yes. Three zeros, let's go. What a game, let's go chat. Nil, nil, nil. There will be somebody who will uh, who will be very suspicious of uh, my, my play though. So I better not be too happy. <laughs> uh, I need to be very, very, very calm 
So that uh, yeah. Yeah, but okay, yeah, Bishop of Three Mystic he has to take C five with more or less equal play here. But after Bishop G four, I just got too good of a play. Did I literally make all the moves as first line of Stockfish? Yes, 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 yes. I mean shared. Top, top two, top three, depends on what depth Stockfish looks, maybe it was one, seven, top one. Then yes, 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 yes. Okay, rook d2 wasn't the strongest. Rook d4 was slightly stronger, but okay. Rook d2, a3. Wow. So pretty much all moves were, were first line of Stockfish. He didn't see it. I, I, I heard he got lost in the statistics. <laughs> Okay, that's good. But yeah, pretty much uh, literally a perfect game of chess. Aside from like one or two moves, all moves of first line of Stockfish. That is very nice too, you know, to play as a chess player. When you play a flawless game. Yes, yeah, so and now knight c7, queen c7, queen c7, rook c7, rook d8, rook c7, rook d8, and otherwise e6 hangs. Yep, plus five, but I mean, we take these. I'm fine with, even with plus five. As long, it's a as, long it, as it is a plus, I'm happy with everything, you know? <laughs> take, take, win e6. Oh, that looks very nice. Yes, yeah, so he has to do th this, but now, same idea. Ah, it wasn't queen e6. It was h4, and then bishop f2, take, take, and queen g3, rook g1. Okay, nice puzzle as well. I think I, I, I played it a bit too quickly. I should have taken, a, uh, spent a bit more time. Uh, let's see, maybe I can move the cam a little bit down. Yeah, this looks good, I think. Why would you play a4 and not simply take e6 or move your bishop away? I don't know. But I'm gonna take your bishop, <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna take your knight. And now he's threatening queen g3. So I can't play queen of six, but then there is bishop g5 with a skewer and my bishop still hangs. I can play queen e6, and after queen g3, queen g6. And maybe what I will do. What I can also play is king h8, but then there is queen g3. If f6, rook e3, queen e3, queen g7 mate. Queen of six, bishop g5, and rook g8, queen e3. So I think I'll play queen e6, and now f6, and now it'll take. And the puzzle is complete, and I get plus seven. Good. Hey, Johnny, thank you. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Here, here, and queen of three can be interesting. But, however, yes, rook h7. Good, that's nice. Very nice to hear that, Johnny. Oh, ah, chat. I, I thought I found some nice mate. Queen h5 and then rook h8, king g6, h5. But he has rook h7 instead of king g6. And he's perfectly fine. A little unfortunate. That would be a very nice puzzle. But okay. Let's try to find the solution anyways. Even if, it'll, even if it will not be fancy, let's find it. Uh, rook h8, rook h7. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this, this. And then this. Yeah, yeah, this wins. But uh, the thing I'm thinking is king g6. King, but now perhaps I can play g4. Uh huh. A g, there is this brilliant mate. If here I go rook f8, queen moves, let's say here I give a check. Cheer. Check in h7, rook h7, queen h7, queen h7, king h7, f5, e6, I win. <gasps> oh god, that's a brilliancy. This is an absolute brilliancy. Hold on, I need to solve this puzzle. I have to. For the content, for the views. Oh, but it's a really nice. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that it wasn't played because I really wanted to show it to you guys, but I'll show it after the puzzle. I guess I take now. Yeah. Look at this chat. 
So yes, if rook h8, rook h7, there is rook f8, and then rook f6 uh, and king g7, queen f8, checkmate. But if it goes king g6, we go g4, a g, we go h5, that's mate. And if f g, we go rook f8, let's say the queen goes to c7, we have mate in three, which I missed, but what I found, I think, also wins. It is rook h8, which doesn't... Wait, 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 wait. How in my calculations I didn't have this h5 pawn? That's a question, chat. Um, that's a good question. But yeah, okay, anyways. I somehow didn't have the h pawn in my calculations. I thought I just, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Did I think that uh, after HG? No, I, I honestly don't know what I was thinking even. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but as you can see, it happens to everybody, so it's okay. Yeah, and then rook a1, queen for example here, I go b1, here, here. G, thanks, Johnny. Yeah, rook a1 looks tempting though. What else do you... We don't talk about that, do we? No, no. Nothing happened to everyone. Not a single thing happened. Uh, yeah, the green guys. Yes, 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 yes. Always gotta blame it on the green guys. Exactly. What now? Queen e6 or what? c6? g7? Ah, and then queen h7. Okay, good puzzle. Yeah, yeah, I should have... I should have thought a bit more. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Okay, what would be brilliant is knight before a b b a mate, but after knight before he has a b himself uh, with the second pawn, um, and I'm not like, particularly sure how how to win there, you know. So eh, I don't know, but I can play b two, I guess. B a rook c two. Can be three rook g two. How am I winning? That's a little question, you know. Not sure. Yeah, but it, it can be. It can be. Of course, I'm not saying that it's incorrect, but uh, I'm just a little tiny bit unsure. Yeah, can you one rook g two is good. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, then rook g2, it should be... I mean, maybe he isn't winning even. He has bishop d2, king c2, and I feel like he escaped somehow as well. We have 18 viewers. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, what if I simply push b2? With huge idea to, like, take rook e8, rook e2, and something like this? I don't know. But there has to be something with some, uh, with the weakness of my opponent's skin, I feel like. Hmm. Tricky puzzle though. Tricky, tricky puzzle. Knight b4 looks brilliant, but a b. Which rook? b2, b2, rook b8. Which rook? Okay, a rook, perhaps, yeah? But then, like, what's the threat? Knight c3 isn't even a threat, unfortunately. It, it can be good, but I just don't see that. Okay, rook a b8, yeah. But uh, what are our threats? Knight c3 is in a threat. He has it covered by two pieces. And if we are just a piece down, it feels like. Mm 
Knight b4, a b knight c2 with some threats of taking. Ah, I don't know. Because okay, if rook d1, knight a c, bishop a c, rook a c, rook a1, bam. Ah, but for that to happen, oh dear. That's a whole, whole adventure. <laughs> Needs to be done for that to happen. Hmm. Not sure. Feels like something should be good, and there will be something will be good, but. I, I'm just not sure what exactly is good, you know. 45 minutes for this one single puzzle, that's a lot. Mm. Okay, it has to be, has to be something like, ah, it was 92. Okay. My goodness, chat, what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? Okay, king a7, queen a6, tell me it. King b7, queen a6, tell me it. Rook b6, queen b6, tell me it. Bishop a, okay, let's start. Knight c6, queen c6, rook b6, queen b6, tell me it. King a7, queen a6, tell me it, yes. So it's not this, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this. Seems fun, yes. It is a c6 or bishop d6. If bishop d6, <laughs> okay, c6, queen c6, knight c6, stalemate, rook b6, stalemate, king is in stalemate. So it has to be this. This is stalemate. Uh, king a7, this is still made, so rook b5, king a7, and king b8. Well, that was easy. I mean, I, I, whoa, 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 chat. Look at this difficult puzzle. How did I solve it? Whew. That was extremely difficult. Queen c1, what a puzzle. I can say it was extremely hard. So you better, guys, do not try that at home. It is extremely, extremely dangerous. So for your mental uh, mental health. So please, if you want to be mentally sane, do not solve this puzzle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, it has to be king e6 because king e7 runs into queen before check, right? Oh, now the fun begins! Yay! How excited I am for this puzzle with 30 million retreats! Yes! Chad, let's go! I am so excited! Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, this is gonna be tiring. Or will it? Okay, king d6. Only check, king d7. <gasps> my rook is hanging on h8 with check. How inconvenient, I may, say, may I say. Very inconvenient. I don't know, is it king d6 or c takes d? Because, okay, 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 okay. These two don't work to this. These two, I don't know why don't work, so they may work. Okay, king f7, rook f1 looks a little bit unpleasant, but king e7, I don't know why it's not correct. Uh, king e7, I guess, queen e4, queen d4, something like this. Uh, uh, so I, me, personally, would take with the pawn, go king d7, rook c6. I can't see it. There is no checks. 
Okay, I solved six already, but I'll go one more because uh, the one with mating to okay wasn't really a puzzle. Let's, let's be honest. Okay, I got plus five. I'm not complaining about that, of course, but it wasn't really a difficult puzzle which I usually solve. So let's go more. Let's go for one more. Okay, g5 perhaps? Perhaps g5 is correct. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> d6 <laughs> a queen c7 uh, what is the difference and i guess the difference queen d6 f4 f rook d2 uh, i don't know <laughs> but after queen 7 i give a, i can give a check from c8 i don't know why i would want that that's it uh, what do you mean exactly is it C7 or D6 or something else. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Maybe. Or maybe not. Or maybe yes. Yeah, but I just don't see what to do. Okay, queen d... Ah, then I go rook d2 anyways. Okay. No! It wasn't even queen c7. It was rook d2 immediately. <gasps> okay. Minus 10 hertz, you know. Mm. Whole 10 rating points is painful to lose. Oh, dear. <laughs> what is this puzzle? Okay, queen d6 looks interesting because I want to give a check and maybe mate him, I guess. She has rookie for queen d6 in h4, queen d6 in g3, queen d3, king of queen d3, king d3, here escapes. Uh, hmm. I play d4, rookie for bishop e4, and queen beat bishop c8 check. Oh, what a move! Ooh. Oh, this is a nasty move. D4. Like, you have a million, million forcing moves, like rook f4, queen d6, all that stuff, but you just play d4. Such a cold blooded move. So, seven correct, four failed puzzles. Pretty good. I mean, okay, technically six correct. But we call it seven because it was technically seven. <laughs> hey, what? Oh, they also changed that the edit profile is in settings. Uh, I am not sure. Oh, you can show. No, I don't want to see flares. Hold on. And now if there is no flares, did they still remove flags or no? Yeah, they still remove flags. Why? Why would you remove? Flags leeches, but I don't want flares, so I turn them off. I'm happy about that. Or maybe I'll turn them on just for for fun, you know. Uh, blindfold piece is there. I don't know why leeches remove flags. I don't know. It just looks a little bit strange to say the least. Okay, let's go d4 playing with the white pieces against stockfish level seven. I think goes for slav defense. 
Okay, that's a pretty solid opening. Okay, I'm going for the exchange slab. Very, very solid opening. Because we also have the so-called handshake agreement uh, with Stockfish as well. Nobody knew about that, but I signed it just recently. So that's why you didn't know, guys. Should be five. I am going to take on c6 castle and perhaps go like queen e4 knight e5. I don't know. I'll short take on d6. Maybe knight e5 was slightly better though, queen e4. Or well, queen e4, bishop e4, but okay, maybe knight e5 was better. Uh, but let's go queen e4 now. Then I want to go to the open b file. Maybe 95, perhaps. 95, now there is c5, so let's go rook b1. If c5, I'll go queen e3. I don't know why I couldn't do it up to 95. Uh, 95, c5, queen c6, queen c6, knight c6, c takes d, 97. Uh, you know, it looks okay. Let's go for it. Queen c6. Take, take, okay. Bishop d7, I'll perhaps go knight e5. Ah, but then he gets bishop b5. Okay, I have rook b6. If take, 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 I have rook c1, I'm fine. And otherwise, if he goes rook c8, I have knight e7 check. So rook b6, like rook b1, knight e5, dc, and I'm okay, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, c, d, c, d, rook c8, I'll still have knight e7. And my idea is just to go rook fc1. So he takes, I take back. The position looks very solid. <laughs> um, okay, it wants to go here. Let's go. Let's go rook c1 because you can go here because rook c8 mate. Rook c8, rook c8 mate. H6. Okay, it goes g5. Wow, aggressive. Uh, my rook is on 6 rank. So perhaps I may go g4. And if rook b2, I go rook c2. Take, take, rook c6, I'm fine. So he goes a5. Okay. Okay. I can go rook c7, rook e7, rook c7, rook a7. I can do that. Because if a4, he will get. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go for it, honestly. This is this rook b8, rook c8. Uh. Or, okay, rook c7, rook b2. Rook e7, rook a2, rook c7, rook f8, rook a7, then I come back with my second rook uh, to get the a pawn, and I put pressure on f pawn, that should be fine. So let's go rook c7. I think it should be okay. Now I'll go rook e7, then rook c7, and then rook a7 back. Rook c7. Okay. You know, let's go a3, because why not? Let's waste his tempo once. Let's make him wa let's make him waste the tempo. Now let's go rook a7, king g2. And the position we are getting right here is that, okay, I can play h3, king h2, and I'll be perfectly fine, because if you move this rook away, I'll take the a pawn. If he moves this rook away, I'll move the f pawn. And like no matter what he does, I'll just continue waiting. And if he moves the f pawn, I will simply check him and maybe even mate him. So what I think I am going to do is play h3. But what I can also do is go rook b7 and then a3 rook b3. And after rook c8 simply take, and this should be also a draw. So maybe that's what I am going to do. So rook b7, I simply want to get the pawn back. Okay, rook a2, rook b4, rook c8, rook a4. This is fine, and this is also fine. So let's go rook b4, rook a4. So I also maybe want to trade the rooks at some point. Takes a3, I want to go rook a8 and trade the one pair of rooks. And yeah, this should be a very, very simple draw, I think. Uh, I don't know, I'll go... 
I don't know what I'll go. Rook a7. Because <laughs> why not? H3. And hopefully this should be a pretty easy draw. I'm gonna take and then king g3. Yep, and then if f5 this will hang. Uh, now I'm simply gonna wait. And if he gets his king to g6, I'll get my rook to b6 so that he cannot push the f pawn. Here I'll go king h2. Here I'll go king g3. Maybe a repetition. I doubt it, but maybe. Okay, king g2. If rook c1, this will be a threefold if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Yeah, good game. I'm happy with it. Perhaps I could have played better, but I'm really happy with it anyways. Okay, sure. I was with white, so maybe, maybe I could. Have, oh my god, maybe I could have pu pushed for a win. But you know what? I feel like it was a pretty, pretty decent game as well. Thank you, Karma, for a pineapple pizza in the chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, but okay. B a four. How am I zero point four down? What does he play? Ah, f five. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So rook b4 was a slight inaccuracy, better move would be b, b3, because now if f5, I have rook b7 and I'm having this zillion checks, because now this f5, and then he can take, take, it is still a draw, but I'm a pawn down, so ah, a draw, but I still have to fight for it, you know, that's the only bad move I think I've done in the game. Here was slightly better if I would play knight e5 immediately, because I'd win a pawn and have a pretty comfortable position, but I didn't go for it, and I get a pretty comfortable draw anyways. So okay, rook b3 is a bit more precise, because you wouldn't have f5 there. All right, good, good, good. So zero, zero, zero from me, and one, zero, zero from my opponent. And in the game is life open and axel 17-0-2. 3-1 nil for him and nil 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 for me. So I pretty much played this game pretty much fully on like first top three moves of engine. Okay, knight f6 first engine move. Uh, e6 first and okay, c5 second engine move, but it doesn't matter. First engine move, first, okay, that's like not the first engine move, but that's theory. Takes first engine move, first engine move, first engine move. It is still all theory. Here, the theory is usually or c5, taken and queen h5 and this is about equal position this is theory if i'm not mistaken or queen h5 and then c5 but yeah my opponent went for something weird which i've never seen before a bishop of three i knew this, that this isn't in theory anymore so i play just bishop d4 because like what else do i play not queen h3 because this is simply a draw and i don't want it not knight g4 because i don't know just a bit yeah, yeah, Lorgan, very, very suspicious, I know. So these were the only moves. I decided to play bishop g4, trading the bishop in two games against Stockfish and against life opponent. This is suspicious, you know. h4, I played knight to g5. I offered a queen trade and I ruined my pawn structure. I doubled my pawns. But this is fine because I'm getting very active pieces. I have an open file. My idea is to play like knight d3 or knight c4, put pressure on his b2 pawn. So I'm very, very good. h6, best engine move. Knight c4, knight d3, also best engine move. Rook c8, knight c4. I love knight, knight c4 because, okay, I was planning originally to play something like this. But then after take, take. Rook d3 here. Yes, I've seen this position. He takes. Material is equal. I may win this, but it's going to be really hard. But then, after a half a minute of thinking, I found knight c before. The idea is that now b2 hangs because here uh, the problem was was my bishop and my knight hang, and that's the problem why I cannot save my pawn. So knight before, I not only remove the knight from this weak square. I am also starting to take on c3 and perhaps take on c3 again or take on a2 and then on c3 or take on f4 or take on b2 so everything is hanging my opponent played knight d5 which was a mistake he should have played knight b5 but i still be a pawn up in a pretty better position better position he played knight d5 i took took rook d8 gf4 a5 very strong move the idea as i have the the knight is terribly placed on b3 if it goes for example i don't know king g2 
or for example it goes knight c1 then here bishop f6 look at these weaknesses the rook and the knight is pretty much dead so for example i can play e5 f5 a4 this a3 he has no moves at all every single piece is cannot move for him if the king moves away this will hang if the if the rook moves okay it's just moving back and forth if the pawn moves okay i just go b5 that's all maybe i can play b5 before um or i can go king f8 and get my king around so he has no moves uh, so yes that's and okay if knight a1 the knight after rook d2 a4 also will be very terrible so at lady 5 is the idea to play a4 and just kill this knight he played e5 try to restrict my bishop i killed his knight then after b3 i didn't take the pawn on a2 i played a3 hi giza chess how are you doing i played a3 a2 is hanging and then my simple idea is just to take the pawn play f6 provoke e6 play f5 i will control the a promotion square promote my pawn this is winning he played b4 but then after takes knight b3 i traded the rooks f6 bishop f6 this pawn is hanging the knight is forever stuck protecting this pawn from advancing for example if he tries to switch his skin he can do that but then i'll have another passer which he needs to switch another piece and then all these pawns are weaknesses so i'll take them and i'll win them i'll take them and i'll freeze win the game so after bishop of six my opponent just resigned and the name axel 1702 so this was a really perfect game that i've played honestly really love it he misplayed the opening and i jumped on it and played a very brilliant game Okay, just want to see how many games have been played because I'm pretty sure this is somewhat popular. Okay, it's oh, I really I meant to press reference chat. My bad, I misclicked my, my brain froze for a second. Oops, mm. now I can't. Okay, yeah, it's very popular. 100 games have been played. The top player for white was MVL when he was 2800 the game ended in a draw so yeah it is very equal in game grind all that stuff but okay my opponent played bishop of three which was never played in uh, database that's a mistake yes simply take oops not that but simply take c5 with equality nobody's really fighting for advantage perfectly fine position for both sides okay bishop g4 bishop g4 this takes hello 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 can you unfreeze chess base please ah okay i know what happened 95 this take take b6 rook d8 i was thinking about 93 first of all but then i think it was in slight inaccuracy because after here rook d1 rook d8 there was something like 95 or king f1 with equality so rook d8 was more precise I was surprised about bishop g5, but I guess he provoked h6, which I honestly didn't mind at all playing. Uh, knight d3, rook c8, just getting the control over the open files, and knight c4, great move. And knight d5 was a big mistake from my opponent. He should have played knight b5, then take take a6, and then, I don't know, knight a7 here, a3, rook d1, rook d1, take, take, and I'd be better here, I'd be a pawn up, but still some chances for my opponent. Because in the game after take, 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 and then a very strong move, a5, there's absolutely zero chances for him. a4, rook d2. Okay, maybe rook d4 was also strong uh, because I want to take this pawn, then take this pawn, then threaten this pawn, threaten this pawn, maybe even threaten this pawn. So I would be much winning there as well. But I played rook d2, which also was completely winning. And, and yeah, yeah, by the way, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hope you'll have a very nice Thanksgiving. It's tomorrow, right? So, yeah. If I'm. Oh, no, it's today. Ah, chat. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I, I thought it's tomorrow. I don't know why. For me, it's Wednesday today. Yeah, so happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yeah, yeah, today. Okay, my bad. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you'll have 
nice time with your family and yeah just have fun so that is it for today pretty short stream but a very very good one don't forget to join the discord uh discord no 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 discord I had a brilliant game with zero my opponent zero mistakes zero inaccuracies and zero blunders perfect game all first lines of stockfish great puzzle solving and zero 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 against stockfish level sign as well so a very great stream hope you'll have a fantastic thanksgiving evening thanksgiving evening have a great rest of your day everybody happy thanksgiving once again thanks a lot for watching and take care everybody bye geezer <coughs> bye lorgan bye johnny bye karmar bye isa bye panda bye niels bye chess fanatic and everybody who was here happy thanksgiving everyone and i'll see you all next time take care everybody and bye bye